romantic poet William Wordsworth immortalized the rugged beauty of the Lake District, home to many flocks of sheep and sheepdogs. Derek Scrimger knows sheepdogs. He works with them all day, every day, and on his days off, he enters them in sheep trials. Derek has never known a dog quite like Ben. The thing that makes Ben fairly unique is that he's honesty. He's absolutely honest and trustworthy in every way. When you do your work on the farm with him, he tries his heart out to please you and do his work, and he's got a lot of courage and stamina and intelligence. Everything, really, that, that I want in a dog. Ben's won three major sheep trials, but he's never qualified for the English team. Next month's trial could be seven-year-old Ben's last chance to qualify for the National Sheepdog Championship. As he's got older, especially this year, he's developed a sore shoulder. And I took him to the vet, and they found he's got arthritis in his uh, left shoulder. And that's a disaster because he won't be able to do the rest of his work in the farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely the last year for work in the fells. And he's in pain, which is, re is really sort of upsetting. Uh, so I've got to be really careful. But uh, from competition, my big hopes for Ben were to run him at the national. And this year there's a world championship as well. And Ben should have been at his best. This could be the last year for competitions because one thing is, I won't be able to train him as hard as I normally would for a competition. So uh, I'm going to have to lay off him a little bit and just rely on his natural ability and to use his brains. OK, Ben, you have a sore shoulder, have you? Hmm? Is that sore? Does that hurt? Eh? You've been working hard. Derek got Ben when he was three years old. Four previous owners couldn't handle Ben's excessive enthusiasm. Dogs are like people, like they have all different temperaments, and some dogs are sneaky. There's other dogs that like to bite sheep, and they look for every opportunity to bite them. Well, these dogs are no good to us, because Ben, he wants to move sheep, he's got the authority, he wants to be in control, but he never wants to be unkind to anything. So. He, he will bite a sheep, but only as a last resort in self-defense or in an effort to move it. Come on, there. Come on. Come by. Come by. He tends to know the difference between a sheep that's slow because it's ill and one that's defiant. And a sheep that's slow and ill, he gives it lots of time. Whereas a sheep that's defiant, he'll step right up and confront it and show his authority. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Get up. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Get up. Come on. Shaha. Come on. Ha -ha. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Come on, Ben. Get up. Ben herds by using an intense stare. This border collie trait, coupled with a predatory posture, gets the message across without bites or barks. There's actually four commands that we use, four basic commands for working the sheep. The first one is go left, which is the traditional command for that is come by. Come by, lie down, come by, lie down. The other one is go to the right. The traditional command for that is away. Keep away, lie down, keep away, lie down. To move straight onto the sheep is walk on or get up, and uh, that'll do to call them back off the sheep. You've got to be careful in the way that you give the dog the commands. If you give the commands in a harsh, quick way, that's the type of movement you'll get from the dog. But if you give the command in a nice, gentle way, then the dog learns to associate that with a nice move. So what you ask for is what you get. Good, good, good lad. That's the stuff. Steady now, lie down. Lie down, that'll do. Now lie down, that'll do. <laughs> I think this could be Ben's last chance to do anything major in competition. 
just because of his arthritis. I think the shoulder could affect him. And if he gets difficult shape, no matter how good the handling dog is, you know, they don't have a chance. It's the English National Sheepdog Trials. There are 150 contenders, but only 15 dogs will be winners. Will Ben be among them? Well, I'm feeling a little bit nervous just now. I've already watched some big names fall by the wayside, and uh, Ben's a dog that gets nervous. If he realizes I'm nervous, he gets nervous, so I've shut him away in the car. Before I go to get him out, I have to get myself under control and get a clear head and a clear, clear brain so I don't sort of pass it on to Ben when I take him out. Planes in her day to day work. But there we go. Number 30 next in the programme. Derek Scrimger. Derek Scrimger with his seven year old uh, Ben. One of the things that worries me today is Ben, he's been drawn in the middle of the day. And it's a warm day and uh, it could affect his stamina. Come by. Good lad. Ben, lay down. Good boy. Come on, Ben. Come up, Ben. Walk on. Walk on, Ben. Lie down. In the course, Ben has to fetch, drive, and separate the sheep. Come in here, Ben. I'll do this, this. Watch it. Good lads. Good. Lie down. Penning the sheep is the biggest challenge for Ben. The sheep are stubborn. Lie down. Lie down. It's not easy. Away. Lie down. Keep away. Lie down. Ben finally Lie. herds them into the pen. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Keep out. Well, we completed course there for Hunter number 30, Derek Scringer from Keswick in Cumbria. It went uh, better than I'd planned, really, so I'm really, really pleased. The judges tally the scores. Derek and his family examine the results. Ben's performance rates in the top 15. This qualifies Ben for the World Championships. For Ben and Derek, making it to the World Championships is bittersweet. It's a little bit sad because Ben, with his shoulder problem, this could be his last trial. And he's coming up to his best years, really, and he's not going to have those. I'll do. I'll do. Even when he's too old to work or compete, Ben will be at Derek's side. He's the first working dog on Derek's farm who'll make the transition to family pet. I knew when I saw Ben that he had a lot of talent, and I've got a huge admiration for him, and I regard him as a sort of character. If dogs were the equivalent to people, I know Ben would be sort of cleverer than I am. <laughs> So, no, yeah, I've got lots of admiration for him. He's a special dog.